Yo, what's up guys? It's RJ with Roads to Liberty. I want to do a video today talking about the reptilian um, conspiracy. I typically don't waste time on things that are not as important, but I'm starting to rethink about what's important. And also, like, some people aren't willing to look at some weird conspiracy stuff because they're thinking, A, it might creep me out if it was sort of true or whatever, or B, like, if it's a waste of time, I got better things to do. But here's the way I look at it, right? Check it out. If people are wasting their time on it, and you could point out some things that are not, you know, true about it, then you could help those people not waste their time anymore, thus freeing them up and making the world more productive. So, kind of wanting to do that, but I'm just pointing to another person's video, more or less. Um, I don't know if you guys have checked out the Red Pill Philosophy YouTube channel, but the dude over there who does that actually almost had me tricked because his video is titled scientific proof that David Ick or scientific proof David Ick was right about the reptilians question mark but in the video he goes on to explain that it's it's a little interesting how there could be some truth to it in a way but not in the way that people think that they're shape-shifting aliens and whatever um, so I was curious to check out this video and kind of surprised that it reached me in that way so I said you know let me <laughs> Let me do a video that kind of calls out this fact, because this video that he did is from 2013, so it's been getting buried a little bit by the search engines and all that. It's got over 1.6 million views, so it's not as if people aren't seeing it. I just stumbled across it today, but I'm going to link to it below, and I think you guys should check it out if you want, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, because I found it to be interesting in terms of it talks about our reptilian history as um, a species in terms of not only the evolutionary lineage but the the part of our brain that handles dominance and violence and territorialism and stuff like that is also the lizard brain there's three parts of our brain he explains it really well so instead of me trying to do all the segues and ins and out I'll just let you guys go watch his channel and the video below rather and um, maybe leave the feedback over there but if you want to you know say anything over here in my comments awesome but I just thought I'd do the video to kind of call attention and let you guys know that if you were thinking this reptilian thing is totally out of left field maybe this is the the link between rationality and one of the crazier conspiracy theories out there all right guys peace out